Welcome movement specialists to another edition of Trap Plane Function, where we take a muscle that's relevant to you so you can see it, feel it, move it, and teach it. The goal of this video, as with all of our videos, is to give you a visual aid to show you what's happening to that muscle, how that muscle is being shortened, and how that muscle is being lengthened, and all three planes of motion. So today, the muscle we're going to talk about is called the supraspinatus. The supraspinatus is one of your rotator cuff muscles. It's most known for, we think, shoulder abduction. Sometimes people will have pain that come into the clinic, or maybe it's you at home, and you have that painful arc of motion. It's typically between 90 and 120 degrees. About here to here, people are just complaining of pain right in this area. It hurts when they raise their arm overhead. And it's also the rotator cuff muscle that gets torn the most. So when you get that shoulder impingement or you tear that supraspinatus, everything gets really short. So it's, it gets tight and protects. So it's really important that we learn how to lengthen that today, but we learn how to lengthen it in all three planes of motion. So if you're following along at home, I'm gonna ask you to take off that TheraBand, tie a knot in it, just as Andrew's showing here, and have Andrew slide that up his arm now. And what, he, what this is doing is it's mimicking the insertion of the supraspinatus. And I love that he has this knot here right at the greater tubercle of the humerus bone. Now, we got the insertion, so let's go to the origin. And he's gonna wrap that around, bring that just around the other side of his other shoulder, in between his shoulder and his neck, roughly. And at home now, if you guys are following along in some previous, uh, some other videos, you know that the scapula, the shoulder blade, right here, this is the medial border. I can kind of grab and reach in on Andrew here. If I come and follow, I'll find this big bony prominence here. It's called the spine of the scapula. Above that is the origin of the supraspinatus. It's the supraspinatus fossum. So now that we have that understood, we want you to really feel this at home. Get an idea for how long this is, how short this is, how much you, how much play there is. So let's talk about lengthening it. Today we're going to break it up. We're going to talk about it from a humeral aspect and a scapular aspect. So let's start with the humeral aspect. How can we lengthen this in the sagittal plane? What we could do is we could give some shoulder extension. And at home, you should see, you should feel it if you're following along. This TheraBand, I can't really grab it as much. I can't pull it away. This t-shirt is really tight. It's elongated now. Now let's talk about the frontal plane. How about adduction? Have Andrew come back here like that. Same exact thing. It's elongated. It's tight. I can barely pull it away. It's the frontal plane. And now, what about the transverse plane? In, internal rotation. You alright? <laughs> but you feel the same thing. Really feel that. I want you to feel that in the TheraBand, okay? That's just the humeral aspect. So now let's talk about the scapular aspect. How can we lengthen the supraspinatus? So what I'm going to have Andrew do is I'm going to have him come over here. We know you don't have a cage, so use that doorway, whatever it takes at home to, to get this stretch. So to elongate it in the scapula plane, we need to get a posterior tilt of the scapula. So how can we get a posterior tilt? And that happens when we usually reach our arm overhead. So, but I'm gonna stop there. I wanna pre-position his arm though. I wanna get that humerus pre-positioned. So I'm gonna have him actually reach over here. I'm bringing him into extension, adduction, and I want that thumb up. I don't want that thumb down. Thumb down means he's in external rotation. We want to internally rotate to give the most length possible here. If you can tolerate that home, if this is it for you, just camp out here, feel that stretch. But if not, if we need to get the scapula wall for a more effective stretch, let's go after it. Posterior tilt, how can we get that? I'll hold this for you, Andrew. He could use his other arm, and you could probably see that if you're looking real closely, his other shoulder's kind of coming down a little bit. You alright? Yeah, good okay. stretch. Good stretch. Okay, that's sagittal plane. Now for the frontal plane, we want to get a little bit of an upward rotation of the scapula. Also, what happens when we usually do shoulder abduction? How can we do that? Let's use this other arm to have Andrew do some abduction. There we go. See how the scapula is coming up now? See how the shoulder's coming up. You can probably feel that at home. You want to write, Andrew? Yeah. Okay. Finally, transverse plane. How are we gonna get this to elongate in the transverse plane? Well, let's keep using that other arm. What if we have Andrew left rotate with that arm? Go ahead, Andrew. Yeah. And you, 
You probably will even feel it, maybe in the anterior aspect of the shoulder, because he's getting that protraction out of the shoulder. Andrew's not liking that too much. So, as always, if you're not feeling any effective stretch with one of those in this pre-position, we can always combine them. I'll do this real quickly for Andrew. I know he's dying in here, but let's just show him. You can combine them any way you want. So what if I have Andrew raise that arm up? There we go. Maybe kick that hip out and almost bring that hand back. Well, let's let's act like we're throwing shot put here. Oh, now we're adding man. those positions. You all right? You all right? That's, that's it. That's, that's it. Okay. And yeah, at home, you should feel the therapy. You should feel that muscle. Play around. Find those positions where you're tight so you can get the most effective stretch. Remember, you're the expert of your body, not us. You know what's tight on you. Play around with that. Um, don't know how I'm going to end. I guess I'm, we're going to be done. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs>